Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you enjoy learning about innovative boats and yachts, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Today, we're examining the Bering BC-80, a large aluminum catamaran that offers some unique features in the Explorer Yacht category. At 24 meters, or about 78 feet 7 inches, this is a substantial vessel with few characteristics worth noting. First, let's talk about the construction. Unlike many catamarans in this size range that use fiberglass, the BC-80 is built from aluminum, which provides good strength to weight ratio and durability. This material choice reflects its positioning as an expedition vessel rather than just a cruising catamaran. What really stands out about this boat is its beam. At 10.8 meters, 35 feet 4 inches, it's exceptionally wide. This creates a lot of interior volume and living space. In fact, the internal volume is comparable to what you might find on a much larger monohull yacht. The boat is available in two main configurations. There's a flybridge version, which provides about 82 square meters, 883 square feet of outdoor living space on the upper deck. Then there's a solar powered version, which maximizes the roof area for solar panels, nearly 1,000 square feet of them, generating over 20 kilowatts on a sunny day. For propulsion, the standard engines are 700 horsepower, giving the boat a top speed of around 12 knots. There are optional engine configurations available for those who want more speed. At a cruising speed of 8 knots, the range is substantial. The boat carries 26,700 liters of fuel, about 7,000 gallons, which provides over 4,000 nautical miles of range. That's enough for transatlantic crossings. The BC-80 can be configured with four, five, or six staterooms. One interesting layout option is having the master suite on the main deck, which is unusual for a catamaran of this size. In the standard configuration, the galley is positioned forward on the main deck, and all guest accommodations are placed in the hulls. Thanks to those wide hulls, the interior spaces have good headroom, 2.2 meters, or seven feet three inches, below deck, and 2.4 meters, 7 feet 10 inches on the main deck. This helps avoid the cramped feeling sometimes found in catamarans. The technical areas are worth mentioning. The engine room spans two decks and is positioned away from the living quarters, which helps reduce noise in the accommodation areas. The boat also has protected running gear. The propellers and rudders are housed with skegs, which help prevent damage in shallow waters. Speaking of shallow waters, the BC-80 has a draft of just 1.5 meters, 5 feet, allowing it to access areas that would be off-limits to deeper-keeled vessels of similar size. For those interested in sustainable cruising, the solar-powered version includes a large lithium-ion battery bank and what they call a kick-saving system that can allow up to 24 hours without running generators. This silent operation capability is a significant advantage for overnight stays and quiet anchorages. In terms of storage, the boat has large capacity for provisions, including freezer space and advanced waste management systems, supporting the extending cruising capability that the long range provides. Overall, the Bering BC-80 represents an interesting approach to expedition catamaran design. The aluminum construction, significant fuel capacity, and wide beam create a platform that's stable, spacious, and capable of serious long distance cruising. What do you think about this concept approach to catamaran design? Would you prefer the flybridge version for more outdoor living space, or the solar powered option for more self-sufficiency? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to see more yacht reviews just like this one. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.